afternoon. Welcome to my Sunday stream. Let's get back into some more Elder Scrolls. I really need to clean up the state, all the extra support material from my 3D prints off this desk. Fucking shit loads of them everywhere. But, oh well. How long has it been? Probably not been 15 seconds yet, so it's probably being monetized. Oh well. Yeah, 30 seconds. If I did a monetization, well, I wouldn't now. Uh, up. Yeah. Cool. Actually, get started. So they don't log in and it's under maintenance. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Yep, maintenance tomorrow. So I might be streaming tomorrow. Oh, wait, no. It'll be Tuesday my time. Oh, I'll check before I start stream. Alright, I'll draw in. Zyna. Nab. Whoops. Uh. Once a Marwind one. Bubbles. Okay, no quests. Interesting. Uh, Urban Museum. Oh, 
or a bomb. Whoops. Error. And. However you say it. Right way. Then we can do that. from northwest. No, it's actually gonna be west. Looks like in the right direction. Oh, damn, it's kind of hoping there wasn't, so then I could just move on. who gained permission to perform the sacred rite to honor the first Ashkans. You may walk freely here. Perhaps you even seek to prove yourself further. These are troubling times. We have the strength and the will to weather any storm, but that does not mean we should turn away potential allies when they make themselves... Sure. Yeah. Return to Aldrin. Seek out Zanamu of tribe Zainab. He has a particular fondness for outlanders and is less likely to try to kill you. From there, he can direct. Oh, friend of the Ashlanders. Well, I don't do that too often.
super far away from... I mean, I wasn't that far away, but, like, because I was in the mountainous area, I have to try and wiggle myself between rocks. I was just a pain in the ass, or a bit it's quicker to do it this way. Seek the favor of my people, less so perhaps to aid the Theron. But I suppose we shall see what comes of that in time. Is there something? I see. Yes, I have been using our time gathered here to urge the other tribes to adapt and make allies. It's vital to prepare if we want to survive. Simply show a willingness to help the tribes, or even just a willingness. Meet with the Ashlander tribes, hear their problems, and offer your aid. Show your. Have I not already kind of done that? Wow. Oh. Okay, so that's a bit different. They look like dailies. The past in enter and be welcome, Outlander. I wonder, however. Repeatable quests, I don't really want to bother. Repeatable slash daily. All quests are repeatable, but not all repeatable quests are daily. Other way, I'm not going to bother. Oh, that's it for the points of interest tomorrow. And, sorry, Vardenfell, I should say. Cool, what is next? I think is the Clockwork City. Our wind was broken bonds. Of the reach of neither among shadows. I'm at Wei Shan. You're doing fine for the moment.
so grateful you've come. We found something powerful. A, a Daedric... Wait, what's happening? Yeah, what the fuck? would get us killed. I warned them. Warned all of them, but they wouldn't listen. They never listen. Something very dangerous. But that can wait. My friends are in danger and don't even see it. Some scryers, huh? Adeber's in Shornhelm. And when Riddle is in Marbrook. Milo's in Stormport, maybe? Thanks for the help. Got it? Bonifred of Clan Owlcloak. Skaldia and I came up together in Riften. Under Magus Auriella. He was always the sharper blade. But it came easily for him. Me? Not so much. Got too much frost in my blood. Still, I can hold. Unfortunately, Skaldia's not the only mage who's been killed by his own shadow. He's just the most recent. Other members of our. Oh, Shaw's bones, you really want to know, huh? Fine. My associates and I are all junior scryers in the. We've had visions of a Daedric artifact. At least we think it's a Daedric artifact. A mage can't afford to be killed. Other junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. It was just Scaldia and me at first, but others caught on eventually. We started writing each other once we realized we'd all stumbled upon the same artifact. <laughs> you think I haven't tried? I sent project. Okay. that Stay back. Back. I will not die like the others. You think I do not know? I know. I, I don't. All right. I'm sorry. I'll come out. Yes, of course. Zara, I will. Yes, yes, I know I will.
I didn't make it through the trials of the Hist. Couldn't be good intentions, whatever he wanted. Agreed. But another stranger completed the trial. I wonder what they asked. Stop me from knocking the bloody mark with my headphones. Hopefully my volume's still okay though. Uh, this one. Hello, testing, testing. Yeah, fine. Greetings, Adept. Everyone recognizes the guild associate who matched wits with the Mad God. What can I do for you? Bonifer? The nearsighted scryer? What she... Never mind. A Daber left just a moment ago. You're serious, aren't you? Mara, protect us. I'll gather up the other initiates and alert the Magister at once. Please, just find a Daber and bring... You're back. Good. Armagus erected a powerful ward on the door, and... Wait, I know that expression. You bring grim tidings, don't you? Adaber is dead. The eight damn whoever did this to him. He was so sweet. Such a quiet and gentle soul. Always there with a timid smile and a kind word. Who could... Thank you for letting me know. We'll see to it that he's laid to rest. Just warn the others.
Damn it. I'm just trying to clean up this print bed so I can print the next thing. Or I'll call the guards. And one was already dead, one I saw got attacked and held, and the other one didn't get attacked yet. Shadow, wasn't it? It was name. Why would it attack me? I always treated it well. Plenty of sunshine, candlelight, and such. All done now, I suppose. It doesn't look like it's coming back. Ingrate. Now I. Not really. I think my shadow may have peeled off some of my animus. My soul, I mean. Or maybe just some of my magical aptitude. Either way, it's something I'll miss. But don't blame yourself. You did keep it from killing me, after all. Well, that was charitable of her. Didn't think she much liked me. Bit of a sore head, that one. Anyway, I'm grateful. I hid my notes on the arch. Do not be alarmed. Only you can see me. I am Lilatha. Sigic master of the gazing glass. I have watched you from afar, and I believe we share the same goal. You seek to destroy these vengeful shadows, yes? I believe we can help each other. All the shadows' victims were seeking a Daedric artifact, an extraplanar antiquity that remains hidden from my sight. To solve these murders, we must first locate the artifact. I require two objects to find it. An Anuic lantern and a liminal lens. 
I believe the lantern lies hidden in a sunken ship near Kanathi's roost. The lens rests in a coffer, deep within the howling sepulchres. Recover the items, then seek out my boat near Valkal Guard. Trust no one. Our enemies are very well hidden. Alright, just picking the print looks a lot more even now. I am sorry we can't have this conversation in person. I fear that I am too tempting a target for this shadowy killer. I must remain hidden. Yes. I take it that you're unfamiliar with our order. That's how Indeed. It's an island beyond Tamriel. There are worrying signs. Portents that cannot be ignored. They are critical components of a... The Obscuros is a scrying device. It ma I'm afraid I can't say. Indeed. Very... Oh, that is the question. It might be tucked away. Yes. Good drink from a glass of water and I don't have one. Probably should fix that. Knoth was roost and Colonel Howling. require accommodations for myself and my aid. You'll provide them, of course. God, it's all the way to the bottom of the island.
Are you kidding me? Damn it, I respawned. My well, lens is in Craig Long. Oh, I've been in here before. Can't remember what for there. It's in here that I went.
that must be the exit way. At some point, all of these guys will wake like up, I reckon. Hmm. And maybe not, they always disappeared. Responds. Looks strong. Looks good, man. Ball show. I want them hoist.
Yeah, wrong way. Nice. Vehicle Gov. You really going to climb aboard this death trap? Just hold a moment and think it through. Would you believe pluck and intuition? Yeah, didn't think so. I may look the part, but I'm no bloodhound. Truth is, I slipped a sporing coin into your pocket before you left Mournhold. A sporing coin. It's an enchanted drake. Looks mundane, but it bears a charm that we can track. You don't approve? Look, we can argue about that later. For now, I can't let you get on. Yeah, and you know what kind of people say things like come alone? Murderers! Sure's bones, you're smarter than this. Just let me come along, I can help. I'm worried that she's bad now. Two heads are better than one, especially when one of those heads is as hard as mine. I'm gonna regret this.
campfire on the beach. I still don't see the appeal. Ah, you've arrived. Welcome to Dranil Kia. Let's get in out of the rain, shall we? I trust you brought the items I requested. The scrying chamber is just up the hill. Follow me. That she's not following me. I'm confident that the components you brought will fit, but the Obscuros device has been dormant for so Let's hope that the genius of my forebears has stood the test of time. Affix the lantern and the lens. The answers we seek are within our grasp. Do you feel that chill? It's like... Oh no! What's happening to me? You must... Kill the shadow! Hurry! them I'll mend your wounds long ago what is this creature some new daedric beast the clockwork city could it be after all this time the images revealed by the obscuros leave little room for doubt the daedric artifact we seek is somewhere inside the clockwork city why would sofa seal allow such an item to enter his domain I fear that something terrible has happened. Yes, of course. I sometimes forget this is not common knowledge. Sotha Seal, brother to Vivek and Magus of the Tribunal, created the Clockwork City long ago. He rarely speaks of it, but scholars believe this city has the power to remake Tamriel. The city functions as a simulacrum of the corporeal plane. Making a change to the clockwork city may well change some aspect of Tamriel itself. This is all speculative, but I've studied under Sofa Seal. I have no doubt that this is within his power. Indeed. An unwelcome prospect, to be sure. Normally, I would assure you that Sofa Seal has the situation well in hand. He is a friend to the Sijix and to the people of Tamriel, but the presence of this Daedric artifact gives me pause. I must inform the Sijic Rite Master. If Daedra have breached the gates of the Clockwork City, we must move swiftly. As for you, I would counsel vigilance. Whoever set these events in motion, allies. We need allies. employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. There is one who might be able to help. The ancient dark elf mage, Devay Fear. 
Though we rarely see eye to eye, I must admit that his grasp of Daedric law is unparalleled. If anyone would know more, it's fear. Fear casts a long, ethereal shadow. It makes him difficult to miss. I sense, yes, he is in Mournhold, the Tribunal Temple, conferring with Almalexia, perhaps. Find Devaith and tell him what is at stake. With any luck, we will find common cause. We employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. A perfect... I wish I could say yes. I fear that in destroying my shadow, we've destroyed some vital piece of my animus. I feel thin, diminished. A weakened Sijic is still a formidable mage, but something is definitely broken. Best not to think about it. All right, just give me a second. Six, seven, eight. Need twelve more. So you knew our attacker. Hmm. She was powerful indeed, and yet I sensed that the strength was not her own. Her form was clumsy, but she struck with the power of a master wizard. Usually I'd suspect possession. But with her, I'm not so certain. Someone granted her powers beyond her ken. An agent of oblivion, no doubt. Yeah. Bonifred was clearly filled with hatred, consumed by jealousy or resentment, perhaps. The Daedra can twist those passions into untold horrors. I pity her. Just remain watchful. Devaith is far from scrupulous. While we Sijic study magic for the benefit of all, Lord Fear only studies it to satisfy his personal ambitions. When our interests align, he can be a powerful ally. When they don't. Enemy is too strong a word. He just resolves to make our lives as difficult as possible. It becomes annoying. That opposing the order directly would go very poorly for him. For now, well, no one really knows Sophie Seal. Not even the other members of the tribunal. Beyond the obvious? Not much. I can tell you he's nothing like Devek. He never spoke about himself or the dark elf faith. I always got the sense that he, well, only obliquely and mostly in metaphor. It's his primary pursuit now. Some say it's his obsession. You see, despite all his power, there is a melancholy to him. I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to discussing such matters with people. Something like, yes. The old ways give little credence to such titles. What is a god other than an exceptionally someday, perhaps?
Oh. We employ the most powerful enemy. I'm going to get a glass of water, I'll be back in a second. arrived at last. Come forward. We have much to discuss. Did you think I would not expect you? I already know all that occurred with Lilatha and the murderous shadows. Rest assured, a voyage that only a few have ever undertaken. We will travel to Sotha Seal's peculiar... Yeah, we're in danger, Kama. ...the Clockwork City. I have inquiries to make. I do. The Tribunes are not so clever that they could hide such a place from me for long. The city is quite close. And also very far away. Just the first of Sotha Seal's many paradoxes. I have no great fondness for that Sigic Lilatha. But you saved her life and defeated a powerful shadow mage in the process. A remarkable accomplishment for someone of your breeding. <laughs> I'm confident you will continue. Of course you will. Naturally, you have questions. Alas, they will have to wait. Servants of the tribunal do not look kindly on blasphemous journeys like prepare if you must but make it quick time is not on our side hey Alexia. daedric princes are not supposed to meddle in our affairs my companion thought he had dealt with that threat but that is not your concern you have done well and earned our approval First tech for the day, and it's a bloody bot.
companion arrives at last. Now then, our journey begins in this dreary The father... Ha! No one truly knows Sothasil. Not even his hordes of wild-eyed worshippers. I studied with him. Indeed, Saint Nerevar the captain. Our king and greatest champion for a time. He died, tragically, during a journey to the heart of... Some believe that Sothasil, Vivek, and Almalexia murdered Nerevar so they could take divine power for themselves. I think it's irrelevant. The silence of Sothasil may come from a place of grief and deep regret. It might be a side effect of his fierce obsessions, perhaps both. How he became a god. Sothasil hides everything. Yes, a Daedric artifact. I take a keen interest in all such objects. Other people... Holy City of Mournful has weathering fruits. That was still like the women, or is he just fascinated with them? I'm guessing it's in the same place as Tamriel, but it's just like shifted a dimension. I don't know, I don't know what works for it. There's just three more. Or oh, so the three.
I'm in no condition to navigate this maze. Go. Find a way to deactivate those traps. I failed to... Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah, one step. <laughs> that was like you and I was in front of it. Here, quick. By spinning knives is not an epitaph worthy of the great hero. Now, onward. Eager to see what new wind up absurdity awaits. Oh, it's got one book. Oh, wait, no, this one's got a couple. Very odd bookshelf, though. Don't like the sound of that. The door's gonna be locked. Remedial spellcraft is all I can muster, but I will aid you as best I can. Lead on. I don't know what the fuck that was. Nutrients. Basically, a um, silent dispenser. Not silent grin from this film, but like silent the um. 
very often. Give me one more placement. I have to admit, that was impressive. Well, I could have done that in Skyrim. For some reason I can't do that sort of shit in this game. I had to bounce it a bit. Now, looking at this here, I wonder if um, Cockroach City was contained within that little globe. Kind of like there was that snow globe with a whole house in it. Even resembles Morrowind. The wildlife. We're just going to be attacked like crazy once we get there. There's everything so far. So far it's telling me that I probably will be. No. Pullo, hospitable as ever. Go talk to her. I'll not waste my time speaking with a petulant toy soldier. Hold there, friend of fear. I am Proctor Luciana Pulo of the Clockwork Apostles. I don't know how you and this egomaniac breached Lord Seth's Celestia drone, but I won't have non-citizens stirring up mis- Only just arrived and already trying to grease the gears? New arrivals must secure an endorsement from a citizen in good standing. I'm prepared. That's for you to find out. 
Not many citizens will risk their reputation on a green-heeled stranger, and you'll find no comfort from me. Maybe you should confer with the other tarnished over there. In the meantime... Tread carefully, Thea. This... Hello. Well, if it isn't my second favorite assistant, what a fortuitous turn of events. Well, if it isn't my second... Shana clearly hasn't lost her charming demeanor. Ah, yes, their bizarre sponsorship custom. I forgot about that little wrinkle. As a friend and peer of Sultan, I'm not a citizen. And even if I were, I'd not waste time wading through their opaque bureaucracy. You've proven yourself to be more than capable. I appreciate your assistance in one of Sotha Seal's greater lackeys, Chief Proctor of the Clockwork. Seal takes all kinds. Imperials, Bretons, Argonians. Luciana may be one of his oldest servants. She served Emperor... According to the legend, she was caught in a torrent of arcane energy during a battle with a rival mage. It mangled her body and sent her hurtling. Indeed. At first, I thought she served him out of some cheap obligation. People like her rarely are. You see... I present a destabilizing influence. I reject them. Yes, a monastic order of sorts. They serve Sotha Seal through magical inquiry. Apostles fancy themselves icon. <laughs> you mean, are they all? Seal has many names. Sotha Seal, Set, Sea, the Clockwork God, on and on. Tiresome, if you ask me. The Clockwork Apostle. Another newcomer, eh? Well, if it isn't my second favorite. Initially, I thought we could rely on my ample charms to win us a sponsor. Unfortunately, the people here tend to value... Yes, a clockwork apostle named Varuni Arvel. Apparently, she's a member of the Congress of Calibration, the governing body here in the city. My asso... This pro... Seeing as you found your own way here, I suppose there's no harm in sharing my own methods. I just learned of a secret. Fearing that the tribunal might seal it again, I set up through the cavern as soon as I could. It pained me to leave my usual cohort, a pair of dark elf explorers. Like me, unfortunately, my illustrious bodyguard was away on personal business. I know. that pompous high elf got his hooks in you too, huh? I told my brother Raynor we should go it alone, but any house in an ash storm, right? Speaking of Raynor, he might... Depends on your definition of trouble, I guess. He's down in the ravine, playing with the firepot spiders for some reason. He wouldn't tell me more. Unfortunately, those spiders have a tendency to, you know... Like I said, he didn't want to discuss it. Probably whipped up an automata disrupting spoon twirler or something. He gets like this sometimes. Just check in on him, all right? He's clumsy and those apostles' mechanical limbs look expensive. Thanks for the help. Rain or smart, but you can't smart a spider to death, you know? Ooh. I got fixed by leveling issue that I was having with my prints. They were just slightly too low. Much better. One more of max thing. Hmm. 
very familiar token. Well, Narano said we needed something to offer this Varumi character, but from what I can tell, she doesn't really need anything. So I asked myself, what do you get the person who has everything? A home-cooked meal, Argonian pottery, or information. Since I'm a terrible cook, and we're worlds away from Black Marsh, I think I'll go with the third thing. This brass I, I'm a pretty good cook. Gossip. I just need to listen for it. Wish me luck. I'm a pretty good cook. I could always just make them something. Sergeant Baldan, this one has the gold you requested. Will you still sponsor me? I gave you my word, didn't I? Come, cat. We can discuss the specifics in my office. A thousand blessings, Walker. Lankin has much to offer. I believe I've met him before. Yes, I'm sure you do. Excellent. Oil or water? Looks like oil. Find out soon. Strange. I am glad to see you, but I must admit, the statistics are staggering. What are the Hira? So you've joined our band of outsiders. Welcome. Now look, I may lack cure. These firepot spiders contain a highly unstable oil-like fluid. The dangers inherent to acquiring it make it very valuable indeed. I discovered a way to prevent the spiders from detonating. But even def so you'll do it? Yes, of course! If you attract the spider's attention, I can use this tonal dampener to disarm their ignition coils. Just a simple matter of inverting their threat assessment.
One more, and I think we've got it. And that's the last of it. Excellent. Brilliant. We really made sure to take the oil to Varun. Naramo said she... If I'm a citizen, I'm gonna attack them. A brassalisk, because it's a basilisk, but it's made of brass. Surprised that's like me. Like your pickle.
I'm guessing that's where we're supposed to come in. If you're interested in something. My assistant arrives. You brought a gift for our sponsor. Greeting, Auxiliary. Is your friend correct? Did you bring an offering? Fire Patwo. Tremendous. And you managed to keep all ten fingers. I'm impressed. Thank you. Now, a number of outsiders have gone missing in recent weeks. I fear someone might be abducting them, or worse. But I have no proof. I spoke to your friend Naramu, and he insists you can gather the evidence. Try to keep this inquiry quiet. Provost Varuni Arvel, ranking disquisitor in the Congress of Calibration. Before you ask, yes, I am a bit young for such a tenurial position. Fortunately, Lord Set established a true bet. No, Lord Set's far too busy. He only recently emerged from seclusion in the Cargaton Centralis. He's addressed the Congress, but I haven't had an opportunity to present myself. Of course. Lord Set, known to many as Sotha Seal, is the father of curiosity. By his word, I do a lot of reading. It's all there in the sermons. Very little, which is more problematic than it sounds. Any loose cog can carry out an abduction. It doesn't take a criminal mastermind to throw someone down a drain pipe. What worries me? We record what happens everywhere. Honestly, I don't know how you exodromals do without. You lose so much in Tamriel. Knowledge, memories, and you must ask. Exodromal, sorry. <laughs> I forget how strange our words sound to foreign ears. Anyone who enters the clockwork city from the outside world is known as an exodromal, since they come from beyond the celestial drome, the glass sphere you'd call our sky. I know, but secrets are the purview of Lord Set, and Lord Set alone. I have no. Ready to do a bit of sleuthing? I'm confident... Varuni suspects that someone destroyed city records. But if my study of Dwemer ruins has taught me anything, it's that nothing is ever truly destroyed. You just need to look in the right place. Sneaking into the depository is impossible for us, but Sotha Seal's clockwork automata enter and exit the structure constantly. I discovered a way to... No, you are. I will provide technical assistance and keep an eye out for prying eyes, both mechanical... If you have questions, as Varuni said, everything here generates a record. From what I gather, those records constantly pass through the depository documata. When you say it like that, it does sound daunting. It's true. The evidence we seek drip. I equipped the Skivaton with a number of key words and concepts to help it sort out extraneous documents. Have some faith. I've extracted... Honestly, they're not all that dissimilar from the Dwemer devices I usually tinker with. Sotha Sil clearly learned a great deal from the dwarves. They use an unfamiliar... We will employ a very simple control device. Right, so we're hijacking it. By Bluetooth. As I said before, those tarnished redundants down in the slums are no concern of yours. Instructed the constabulary. Dare you, Hamid. Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because a factotum with delusions of grandeur told her fortune. Do you really believe that? Please allow me. Excellent. We have a strong signal. Now, to find Varuni's evidence. <laughs>
straight, then left. The central depository must be on a different floor. Hmm? Sorry, dude. It's a wind up mouse. It's gonna be a bit great if the bloody thing didn't keep um moving the camera around. should lead to the central depository and our evidence this depository should contain security documents and recordings search everywhere when you find something use a skeleton to make a remote copy Record of convenient fact items. And I'm lost. That's interesting. We're gang up organic things which included 17 dead bodies. Which is not a good sign. How dare you come it? Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because a fact told him with delusions of grandeur told her fortune. Alright, do you really let me see what you found? Yes, I believe these recordings correspond to the dates of the disappearances. We might already have a lead. I shared Varuni's concerns with Kira shortly after you left the Basilica, and she insisted on looking into the matter herself. Hmm. Oh, Kira is still alive. I have nothing to say on the matter, Auxiliary. You will tell me if this portal exists. This could be my one chance to get what is it? This is not the end of the world. I suggest we find the Ah, there you are. Done playing with Naramo's wind up toys? I think I'm on. I did a little asking around. Word is Constable Baldan will sponsor anyone as long as they can pay. Where they go after he takes that will do the complication. Luckily with I surveyed the building. Someone left the door to Baldan's storage loft unlocked. Cool. You should provide a great view of his office. Climb up there and wait. When I offer a bribe, you record the conversation on that memory stone. Then we'll... if there's truth to these rumors i have nothing to say on the matter auxiliary you will tell me if this portal exists this will be my one ah all right baldan i've got your gold will you sponsor me for citizenship Oh, I'll take your offering. But sponsorship? That's for the living, you tarnish scum. The living what? Do it. Uh -huh. Well, what are you idling for? 
Gather up the gold and dump her with the others. We don't want anyone finding our latest visitor. Break. There you are. Naramo said you'd be around here somewhere. He what? How could she? We have to rescue her. Yes, of course. I'll get help. Maybe I could even put together some kind of tonal locator. Bah, not enough time. Mm. What would Kerith do? She would investigate. Yes. Oh, I'll get the others. You hurry off to Slagtown. That's what the locals call the slums in the northeast corner of the fortress. I must admit, I was surprised to find a tenement like that in Sothisil's holy city. Then again... Yeah, well, it's probably because there's some people in the city that treat people like shit still. and keep walking green heel this one has nothing to say to you Fech! you outsiders are all the same Cut. and so you prove my point always trouble always violence and poor saiba is caught in the middle any alchemists looking for some gold looking to help us tarnish alchemy plants aren't exactly Hmm. You got radios. The clockwork apostles have. I can't be. Oops. Okay, so maybe this is um might be Maybe they're all like going after organics.
Yo, this time I think it's burning away and he's like in oil. A bloody clean fuse. Oh, that's the fake one. A fake scorp scorp. Too, did they? No. I, knew I couldn't be the only one, Constable Baldan. Got... You're right. We should, and I could, but not yet. I met another one of Baldan's victims, a Khajiit named Lanki. Oh, I saw him on the way in. Creeping it out down here, but he's no warrior. I told him I'd get him out. Unfortunately, we got separated. <laughs> That's the spirit. I managed to yank this sword out of a corpse nearby. It's not much, but you don't need a sharp edge to deal with these factotums. Just Probably got a spare on. Them. A lot of patience. You ready? Let's get moving. All right, give me a sec. Need nine more, which will take about four and a half hours. Overflow. Ah, dragonfly. Like go well. It's dragon. Ah, oh, dragonfly. Why did you call them devil flies instead of dragonflies? No, thank goodness. The body's far too old. Let's keep looking. <laughs> I was going to say, like, uh, I don't think he would have. Don't go on that quick unless like something stripped his body of flesh. Yeah, okay, still avoid all of these things. Hiding place, but no Lankin. We should keep looking.
Yeah, okay, fair enough. Another empty camp. Damn. He must be here somewhere. He must have starved to death. And whenever you can get rid of these cock like oscillators. I know. Maybe we have to be citizens to be left alone. Hey, hello. Finally. Come with us, Nankin. We're getting you out of here. Friend killers. Bright moons above. Please, let's leave this dungy place. Yeah, let's go, dude. Suppose you found anything of interest down there. Enough. I'm glad to see you weren't lying, Reynard Vamos. That bastard, Baldan, threw me into the fundament. <sighs> Ridiculous. I've never seen this woman in my life. Liar! You tossed this one in as well! Got a memory stone to prove it, lady. This Reynard Vanos made some very bold claims. If you have evidence of Constable Baldon's crimes, I suggest you produce it. Huh. You're more resourceful than you look. Little wonder Devaith chose you as his companion. Set knows he needs the help. I'll hold Baldon under guard until I've had an opportunity to review the evidence. As for you, you're free to go. Luciano, I'd like to ask the constable a few questions when we return to the Basilica. Don't trouble yourself, Arumi. You know how persuasive I can be. I do. That's what worries me. Do your worst, you tin-legged hag. Set help you if she does, constable. Oh, she has no legs. That fool has no idea what he's in for. Live uncomfortably and learn, I suppose. Oh, most certainly. Baldan can't have accomplished all this by himself. Erasing records? I do, one way or another. For now, 
Let's celebrate your achievement. Of course. Each of them played a role in your success, and each... You'll regret this. Mark me, Proctor. You will regret this. I doubt that. Get this tarnished piece of scrap out of my sight. Enjoy prison, you scheming prat. Ah, it seems I arrived just in time. As it says. Oh, a ramp, but that wasn't the right way anyway. There we go, this is where I wanted to go. Citizen? That all worked out splendidly. As one journey ends, another begins. I, I can finally begin my exploration in earnest. Now that we've earned our citizenship, I can apply for excavation permits. Antiquity transportation licenses. Oh dear. Come to think of it, I might not be able. They proved useful. Reynolds' theories need some work, and Kirith's refusal to listen to reason caused me no small measure of anxiety. But I value your service and partnership, Assistant. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. If I understand the bureaucracy correctly, I may be here in the Brass Fortress for a while. There you are. Good. We have much to discuss. Debate Beard? Here? It is a true pleasure to meet you. Yes, yes, I, I imagine it is now, and I'll be on your way. Yes. Well, uh, be seeing you, Assistant. Good day, Lord Fear. Come, we need to talk. So you're a citizen now. Well done. I heard something about a constable tossing people down sewer drains. Even in this shrine to knowledge, drooling idiots bumble their way to power. <laughs> Ludicrous. Moving on, I require your services once more. It's Sotha Seal. Shortly after you and I parted company, I sought him out to discuss our Daedric artifact. I fear something is askew. His habits, it worse. Initially, I dismissed it as boredom, fatigue, or even the first signs of senility. But now, we will leverage your hard-earned citizenship to make inquiries. First, I will make it known that in light of your recent exploits, I offered to take you on as my aide, an offer you eagerly accept. As the most powerful mage in the Brass Fortress, I find it difficult to have proper conversations with common folk. They grow silent at my approach, then whisper as I leave. An appropriate, but sadly uninformative, display of deference. Indeed. 
It's commonly understood that servants grumble about their masters loudly to those they consider equals. Ask them about Sota Seal's recent behavior. I'm confident we'll find something of value tucked away in their churlish complaints. You have questions, of course. Ask what you must. He is inscrutable, but he's also unflinching. Seal always moves deliberately, quietly. In the short time we've been here, he has twice adjusted city patrol routes and delivered three revisions to the fortress charter. Trust me, when that's for you to discover. Don't bother speaking with members of the Congress. Varuni's faith in Sota Seal is unbreakable. Chancellor Gascon resents any threat to the status quo. And Luciana, oh, well, let's just say she's been less than helpful. Luciana resents my presence, but she's no fool. I go where I please, when I please. An open confrontation between us would likely leave hundreds dead. Mm. So do not trouble yourself. She will not stand in the way of our investigation. He is inscrutable, but he's also unflinching. Mm. And seal always moves. Well, would the fact I didn't sleep me alone now? Probably not, because there needs to be some sort of lock. <laughs> I have important business back in Vardenfell. I can't be late. I need to leave. Forward, it cries. Forward to the fruits of cheap ambition. Forward to the promise of everlasting kingdom. She's getting quite cold in my apartment. I need to turn the heater on. Can we talk later? If I don't finish this lamp inventory, gas. Yeah, Gascon must know how much I love doing paperwork. A few days ago, Sotha Seal ordered us to. A bunch of factotums loaded them onto a dolly and dumped them somewhere in the mechanical fundament. Hey, I know that look. If you're half the old switches don't work with the new lamp, so we've had to manufacture new switches, and half the time the switches get installed backwards, which means we have to do it all over again. Even the and don't even get me started on the lamp assembly. Sotha Seal could have turned the fabricators to make the new lamps with a flick of his finger. Something's definitely wrong. So you're the one Devaith tapped to be his aide in the Brass Fortress. Sorry to... Not as bad as you might expect. She's young, youth comes with impatience, but I've never felt unfairly... Now more than ever. I don't pretend to understand his motives, but he's never been so demanding. One example? He insists that we turn all the lights down before he enters a room. Do you have any idea how difficult... It's wrong. It's all wrong. Go back and do it again. I... I apologize, Lord Set. Please forgive my stupidity. I shall correct the survey at once. So you're Devathir's new auxiliary, eh? Tough luck, friend. I've heard he's an insufferable bastard, but at least he's not so the seal. Better to be turned into a guard. Not anymore. In the old days, sure. He was easy to please because he was never around. These days, he changes his mind. Trust me, this is unprecedented. I'm afraid something's wrong with his enhancements. Like he's having trouble regulating. He's a different person, I swear. Don't tell anyone I said this. Especially Gascon. Yes, speaking ill of a god never turns out well. In the old days, he'd take it in stride. Commit your small blasphemies, he'd say. The fire of doubt turns ignorance to steam. But not anymore. This place is becoming... Right. I'm sure you have plenty of work to do for Lord Fear. He's back a few days and already burying you. Yeah. Something wrong. Were you treated well by the menials? Well, I could have told you that. 
That's why I sent you here after all. What kinds of demands? Be specific. The lamps in the locutorium, yes? The large assembly room over there? The auxiliaries and factotums have been laboring in there. Impressive. I assumed I'd have to explain it to you. Of course, this requires a functional lamp. I assume he ordered them destroyed. Speak to that high elf of yours. I have important business back in Vardenfell. I can't be late. I need to leave. Forward, it cries. I'm sure they would let him leave if it's just a show, alright. I have a feeling the slums also related as well. well I have to get ah, I hope to see you again, assistant. Pray tell, what did Devaith fear have to... Raynor? Surely this is something I can handle myself. Impressing Devaith fear could greatly increase my standing in the Dwemeric scholarly community. Tell me. What does Lord Fear ask of me? Uh, uh, us. He just wants us to build a lamp? What an odd request. No matter. I would be happy to offer my ample expertise, provided you let Devate. Some kind of tubular housing, probably meant to protect a glass interior? Difficult to say. Probably gas-based. Maybe the fluorescent lights. Some kind of compressor. For funneling a gas, perhaps? Mm-hmm. A complex filament of some kind. The weaving on this fiber, it must be machine-made. I should be taking notes. Look at the apertures on this. It must be some kind of modulator that changes the nature of the light. Fascinating. And color? And just the um voltage which changes the energy output which changes the color filaments housings modulators no, that's not right yes i think unlike the other lamps these compress some kind of geodic gas into metal tubes then modulate the light to create another kind of illumination that mortal eyes cannot see In the yes oh the black lights I believe we can recreate this lamp without much difficulty. Of course, you'll need to procure the requisite parts. These are you plan to do what? Oh dear. Well, this seems like a terrible idea. 
but I shall rely upon... That's a shot. from night tracking which means one will go this direction. It's like a wandering machine almost.
He don't scare the shit out of me. Now there's the look of someone on the... As a matter of fact, I acquired some of those just a few days ago. Apparently, someone's tossing out the old lighting to make way for the new. They're not easy to come by anymore, though. Eh, it's a bit less than I'd prefer. But if that's all you can afford, I'm a reasonable woman. Oh no, I can afford a lot more than that. Payment on future business. Come see me again sometime, all right? You've returned. Excellent. Raynor and I have cobbled together a serviceable frame for the lamp. All we need now are the components I sent you to acquire. Were you... Wonderful. I'm confident this lamp will conform to the exact specifications of the lamps they removed. Provided Raynor didn't make any miscalculations. So, would this be the time to inform Deve Fear of our success? Or mine, specifically? Excellent, excellent. No need to return here, of course. Kira should be back straight away, and I'll have her run the completed lamp over to the locutorium as soon as it's ready. See you soon, assistant. We should stop calling me that. You've been told before, Vilar. That's not how things work here. Of all the rudeness I've ever encountered. Ah, I was beginning to worry. Not about you, of course. These apostles have... Well done. I assume you discovered the special property of these lamps. Why does my dear friend... Visible light? Fascinating. To help with factotum navigation, perhaps? Huh. No matter. Further inquiry must wait. Now is the time for action. I will request a congressional assembly. Plant your lamp on the balcony above, then return. Did you say something about putting the lamp on the balcony? We might have a problem. Raynor and that annoying high elf finished your lamp, but there's a problem. On the way here, I overheard an aide complaining about some new security measures Sofa Seal. Looks that way. Unless you want blood on your hands, of course. But that might complicate our sponsorship a smidge, yeah? 
Just be quick and quiet, like me. You'll be fine. Worth it. I convinced Sotha Seal that the Congress requires yet another lecture on the sanctity of clockwork automata. He eagerly agreed. Seemed almost giddy about it. It was unsettling. Is all in readiness? Good. Seal's lecture should begin any moment now. Stand ready to activate the lamp. I'm reasonably certain that something will happen, but the specific point is that some of your knowledge may be experimenting on the present plateau. I will remind you yet again. My serve as an extension of my divine will. Across them, and you across me. What is that? What's happening? After him! Someone seize that imposter! Motherfucker. I haven't the time to discuss this, Faruni. Wittingly or unwittingly, Lord oh, Set no longer That serves was the enlightening. Of city. To think I've been speaking to Sotha Sil's shadow all this time. It seems so lifelike. Far more advanced than my own, I'm sorry to say. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be frank. If an imposter sits upon the throne of Nine and learns how to wield the power of this place, a cataclysm will follow. We may yet discover a way to avert. Stay with Varuni. With Sotha's seal exposed as an imposter, the Congress will fall into turmoil. In such chaos, dark truths always float. My dear Lord Set, what happened to you? Uh, I can scarcely believe what we just witnessed. How could this happen? How could a sh fear, of course, always the iconoclast? I'll bet he's snickering at us even now. It doesn't matter. I, I appreciate your diligence. Yes, he was acting strangely, wasn't he? He always chafed under Lord Set's rule. Now he finally has a pretext to seize control, and he slinks away like a... The real Lord Set will aid us eventually, I know it. In the meantime, we must do for ourselves. Thank you for everything you've done. It appears we'll have to do a lot more before this is through. Classic Gascon, fleeing to his chambers when things go poorly. 
I'm sure that news of Lord Set's condition has already made it to the streets. We have to move quickly to prevent a panic. Try to talk to Gascon. He clearly doesn't care what I have to say, but he might listen to an exodromal. You remain, you know, a novelty. No offense. We can't assemble the Congress without the Chancellor. Check his rectory in the west wing of the Basilica. He hides in there sometimes to nurse a bruised ego or write passive-aggressive memoranda. I'll try to settle the Apostle's nerves. Honestly, my nerves could use some settling. Don't let Gascon wriggle out of this. He has a duty and an obligation. What? Yes. I don't understand how a shadow could take Lord Set's place. Compromised? You make it sound as if Lord Set suffers some kind of defect. Do you know what the sermons say? God. The fuck was that? He's bloody running. Keep it spice cabinet just for that. The factotums reported a strange energy signature in Gascon's rectory. Did you find anything odd in there? Sounds like a nocturnal shrike. Right. The gears. How did that thing make it past our security coils? Is that not suspicious at all, is it? A sudden departure. You're right. I knew Gascon was a conceited slaggard, but consorting with Daedra? I pray it's not true. We need to discover what he has that the Daedra covet. Proctor Luciana might be able to organize a search. She just left to disperse a crowd. I hope you catch Gascon soon. We need to know what he knows immediately. Birds? Not that I'm aware of. He might be tinkering with some kind of avian automaton, but he rarely discusses that. Wait, feathers? From a lie? Unprecedented. As far as I know, no living bird has ever set foot or wing in Clockwork City. And even if they did, they wouldn't last long. Not a lot of worm. Fascinating. I've always wanted to see one. Under better circumstances, of course. I'll notify our naturalists once we resolve. I'm afraid not. Gascon keeps his own counsel about what he does outside the Basilica. He spent a few days out in the radius last month, but that's hardly unusual. Apostles conduct research outside the fortress all the time. Mathematics mostly, predictive theory, spherical values, virtuous enumeration, that sort of thing. He just published a dissertation on transdimensional calculation. 
making inferences on how numbers change during planar travel. Impressive work. The specificity of his calculations just boggles the mind. It's almost as if... It's almost as if he had... I don't want to even consider it. Not in... He might have had the artifact that everyone's been trying to find. Anyway, be right back. Here to clear the square. You don't know, do you? I knew it. This is a disaster. If you want to panic, do so in your own homes, not in the public square. Now disperse or be dispersed. Get them moving. You heard the proctor. Return to your homes. If you're looking for Lord Set, I don't know where he is. I will find out, though. Count on it. Gascon, what has he done now? I can't keep up with the complaints. Good. Maybe a fabricant ate him. Our luck has to change at some point. So, he finally graduated from corrupt hobbyist to professional villain. I'm almost relieved. Now we can finally give him what he deserves. I assume you informed your sponsor, Provost Varuni? A city-wide search? I can't spare enough apostles to search a broom closet. Reports are flooding in from the radio. Got the tenly body icon on. Fanatics in black robes, pale skin Daedra, living shadows. We may have a full-scale invasion on our hands. Hmm. I have one asset I can spare. I know an artificer, Dalimar. He takes some getting used to, but you won't find a better tinkerer. He can help you find Gascon, guaranteed. Go talk to him. He set up shop near the tenements. Slag Town. I knew that slag-addled piece of garbage Gascon would turn on us eventually. We should have dealt with this decades ago. I think we should destroy it. If only to convince the people, it can be destroyed. I'm already getting reports from citizens convinced that their neighbor or their friend is actually a shadow. Another few weeks of this, it will not end well. I'm prepared to live with that. I made a vow to protect the Clockwork City and its inhabitants. If sac you can ask. I have a crank in between my shoulder blades. One of my auxiliaries winds me up every morning before breakfast. In the same way as every other clockwork automata. A combination of engineering and sorcery that would take a century to explain. The machinery keeps me alive. I know it's unsettling to look at, but no one ever said life in Clockwork City was fair. The same as you, I wager. A combination of heroism and... Yes, I'm still not exactly sure what happened. During the Valenwood campaign, I locked staves with a wood elf spell leader named Keladith. He was deceptively powerful, wiry, quick as a skeever trap. I remember cleaving his... Possibly. I think he was in the midst of a translocation spell when my sword made impact. There was an explosion... Yes, 
His factotum scooped up what was left of me and brought me here. He mended my wounds and replaced what couldn't be mended with metal. I asked him why. Because one day you will shine on Always. <laughs> Take my advice. If we manage to find the real set, don't expect him to embrace you as a friend. We're all yes, bitter. If you hadn't stopped the Covenant from summoning Sadar, we'd all be dead. How well. dare you, Pamid? Your mother wanted a better future for you. Cut the back totem of delusions of grandeur over the course. Well, well, look at you, all full of fleshy bits. Not a scrap of brass on you, is there? That won't do, that will not do. I can fix you up, no bother at all. Maybe new feet. You need new feet, don't you? A missing person? How mysterious. You wouldn't be looking for Sotha Seal, would you? I hear rumors, you know. All kinds of rumors. Something about me too. Whoa! Cool those cogs, you twitchy rascal. This little scrap heap should do the trick. Meet Snuffler, the tracking Nix. There he goes! I just replaced his leg spring, so try to keep up! It looks like an actual Nix that's been turned into a cyborg, which is kind of fucked up. I'm getting a little hungry. nosing around here with that ugly beast. Chancellor who? Oh, you mean that brass ass fancy boots that came running through here. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Dragging his silly... Yeah, the grease mucks up fabric and snoots. That's why we stay down here. Wouldn't want the constable to see you. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Your man headed west. Should be some oily footprints about.
Out there that way. Hello. Terminus. He may have killed me, but he won't last long. He sealed his fate the moment he betrayed us. There, ignite, mistress. Gascon vowed to bring us an artifact of great power. Ah. The artifact is gone. But don't worry. My mistress will wring the truth out of him soon. The whispering shadows will claim this artifact. You really have no idea, do you? Daedric forces conspire in every dark corner. Lurk behind every tree. Yes, Scarfin and others. They served them. Damn it.
Here comes a chum. Fucking scoffing. It me. Be gone, whoever you are. I see questions. You think I'm foolish enough to let you in? No, this door will. Who I keep counsel with is none of your concern. You are just like Faruni, so uptight, so nice. This is a when they're trying to get in. They're all flying at the moment, which is good, but they won't stay that way, I imagine.
extend the um don't want the pressure to completely build up. That bloody bug's gonna turn on now, isn't he? Why do I want it? Responding to our testing protocol initiated. Mate, you really don't know who I am then. Telling me to give up because something isn't going to 100% perfectly. Why is the lava coming out of the ground all the way at the scuffing? Second. Are they? It's now, it looks a bit.
the hell am I getting charged? Excuse me. There he is. I am not seventh. You summon me again. I Follow me outside, all right? I promise I will explain everything. You better have a good fucking explanation, then. We're right back out of the dome here on us, bloody cold in the mouth. He is on, I'm wearing this until it moves up. I love this jumper. I know how this looks, but you have to understand. Those shadow cultists meant to slit my throat. I had to leave. My life was in danger. Don't you see that? That's not the part that I'm worried about. Fine. I made a bargain with Clavicus Vile. I That's know it's questionable. Just hear me out. All he wanted was a key. If I got it for him, he'd make me the ruler of Clockworks. Some daft talking crows. After that terrible business with the Shadow, I returned to my office to think. I arrived just in time to see one of those disgusting birds make off with the artifact. I panicked and... On my life, I did not... I wanted to heal the city, not destroy it. If I had known, I swear I never would have gone through with it. Yes, my methods were unconventional, I admit it. 
but you have to understand. He abandoned us. While he tinkers away in the Centralis, we scrape by. Eating nutriment paste and hiding from killer machines. Is that fair? Should we thank him for that? My, I thought so. Look, bartering with Clavicus Vile was unwise, I know. I don't know it was going to go differently, but like as in I would have to fight the dude, but... He clearly fled the fortress into the jaws of a fabric. Finally. I've been pacing a hole in the floor since he... Gascon is dead? Well, he left us no choice, right? Good riddance, I suppose. I'll send some reclamation. The Clockwork City owes you a tremendous debt. Gascon's death is... was necessary to safeguard the people. Now we just have to follow the... Obviously, we need to recover this mysterious key. I don't know where it is, or what it does, but if Daedric princes intend to mount an invasion over it, we can't afford to let it slip through our fingers. Gascon insisted that talking crows stole the key from him, right? We should start with them. According to the constables, the birds started stealing things as soon as they arrived. Hmm. Well, the fact that they arrived so soon after you revealed the shadow is suspicious. But they seem more interested in simple mischief than anything else. Ask around the Chancel of Transact. The sermons never prepared us for something like this. Perhaps when this is all over, Lord Set can write an addendum on what to do when talking crows and Daedric monsters come calling. Not until today, no. They're really quite beautiful. Aside from the mocking and stealing and, you know, defecating. Hundreds. Fascinating. I'd very much like to see more of these birds. For research purposes, of course. Into the what? Uh, no, no, no. I have too many responsibilities here. And to leave set side? It's an absurd suggestion. No offense, of course. Clockwork City. It clearly possesses some great power. Keys exist to lock and unlock doors, right? I assume they want... We don't often rely upon locks, but I guess it's possible. Maybe an apostle's chest or some lower sections of the incarnatorium? I really wouldn't know. What happens in the Cogatum Centralis remains a mystery to pretty much everyone. But don't worry. If Lord Set locked something away, no mere... Certain. I mean, I guess... Well done, slaying Gascon. Sometimes justice requires... Solid, for now. Well done, slaying Gascon. Solid, for now. Well done, slaying Gascon.
get out of here. We go where we please, wingless. Go away, or we peck out your eyes. I'm not Colonel Servant. Come to gawk at the birds. Just keep those heels spring loaded, friend. The big one there nearly pecked an apostle's ear off. She said it was due for a replacement anyway, but even so. <laughs> well, may Sothasil bless your attempt. Honestly, if you've got the other than everywhere, the loudest gather around a tree just outside the basilica. I assume those are the ones you're after. Now listen. I pity the factotum that has to clean his holy likeness up there. I've never seen so many droppings in one place. What, like the birds? No. We did have a skeeperton infestation once. Someone left the fabricator running and it spewed out thousands and thousands of the things. The apostles deployed clockwork. Exactly. By the time Sothasil caught wind of it, the fortress was packed full of wind up bears and motorized tigers. Quite a scene. The clockwork god destroyed all of them, except. Sounds like what they tried to do in Queensland. It was um, an insect that was eating the sugar cane, I think it was some sort of cockroach. So they introduced um, a toad to try and eat all up all the um, insects. And then the cane toads turned into a pest because they ate the crops too. And they have me able to get rid of them, and they're fucking breed like crazy, and there's fucking millions of them now. Literally called cane toads. And you get paid, and if you bring a dead one in, you get paid for it. They're that much of a pest. The Exarchs of Dross may share meat with featherless giants, but not the Black Feather Court. In wartime, only spies approach without tribute. Every bird knows that. Tribute? Yes! Shinies for the Duke. We demand a treasure from our enemy. The metal man who shouts at us, Constable Drados. May his tail droop and his wings wither. Snatch up his silver treasure. Perhaps he carries a treasure beneath his clickety-clanking clothes. Or maybe he hides treasure away in the stone nest called cloisters. That is for you to find out, Featherless. Now go! So, I believe that was number 12. Who's back? Just couldn't turn the key. I told you they'd ask for something. A silver treasure. <laughs> of course! They want my canteen. <laughs> Those daffy birds sent you after a pewter canteen. <laughs> well, they can't have it. Sorry, mate, but I'm not about to give those scavengers anything. <sighs> Fine, but this had better work. If these vermin are still filching our tools and tableware in a week's time, I'll know who to... I don't think about it. Oh, yeah. Rain, are you letting her fall over you? So much There's a do. difference between cordial and compliant. You told me to play nice with others. Now you complain. I don't have to listen to this. I'll finish exploring on my own.
the hell's the enchanted temple then? It's special. What is it? How long are the tables? I'm rather busy right now. Sorry, you have to hear it. That whole shadow before what I there are so like Quam. What I said. No, like Quam. So much to do. Existence at Arentia, bright moons. And there's an upstairs area. cleans it right up clear water comes to the city given to all equally even us right we'd really be cranked up if that place broke down You want the actual fuck.
Cristo. Before you even... Hey, I'm getting the level 10, 50 to the moon. There we go. Jero Marco de Nata. Okay, finally finished with them screens. Wait.
Good damn it. I'm gonna keep running around in circles. Ugh. Canteen. Perhaps you are a worthy crow friend after all. Ask your questions. Ah, key? Yes, the great prize, the shiniest lock poker. Our heroic knight of marrow breached the gates and claimed it from the clumsy apostles and our exarch foes. The featherless ones squabble over its whereabouts, but they'll never find it. Never! No, only our Duke of Crows knows. You cannot speak to him, crow friend. Not without an escort. Find the Knight of Marrow. He is our grandest champion. Sleek and strong. Honor him with shinies and sweet meats, and he may help. By a great waterfall, south and east. Swooning like a lovesick dove, no doubt. Even now he builds his lady love a glorious nest, but she is fickle and he is foolish. Go and talk to him. He needs adventure. Enemy crows, the exarchs of Dross. They served as shadow women and tried to steal the great prize from us. But the Black Feather Court bows to no one. Our duke will rend their queen of chaff to pieces, and we will feast on her entrails! Shrikes! Weeping, featherless pale skins have swat and curse us! And their other servants also, black-robed cultists. May they eat sour meat and die! If you see it, you will know. No silver glistens and gleams like the prize. The Exarchs and the Shadow Women want it, but it's ours now. Ours! The Knight of Merrow claimed it for the court. Ask him. How did you learn how to talk? We crows are clever and wise. Wise! We bend our words into sentences just as you do. Except we're better at it because we're smarter than you. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna hop off because I'm feeling pretty tired. Um, so I gotta go make dinner, do all that stuff, and hopefully I'll feel a bit better. Watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you check out Twitch Stream Live, links in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash one of those six. Um, yeah, I will hopefully be back on later tonight. <laughs> I might not be on tomorrow because of maintenance or the day after. I can't remember, I can't tell which one it is. But yeah, until next time, see you later. Right.